All right, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Rebel, back with another video. And today I have a special treat for you. Have you ever wanted to generate images on autopilot so you can leave your PC alone and you don't want to just keep throwing prompts into the prompt box and hitting run, throwing prompts in the prompt box, hitting run? Well, I have the perfect solution for you today. So this is the prompt cycler. So what this does is it takes a simple string node and runs it to a text file. And then the advanced file reader runs through each concurrent line in the text file and feeds a single prompt directly into the clipped text encode node so that you no longer have to feed an unlimited amount of prompts by hand. Now, a few things you're going to need to know before you use this workflow. One, you need to make a text file with Notepad or Notepad++. I prefer Notepad++. It's just a lot more intuitive as far as Notepad like text files go. A lot more adjustment going on. And you can actually see where each line starts and it does not start a new line until the prompt is completed. Um, but what you will do is you will right click on your text file, no matter where it's at, it does not matter. You will hit copy as path, and then you will place it in here. Now, when you do, you need to remove the quotations that will be on the beginning and the end because copying it as a, as a path puts it in quotations, and this will not run unless you remove the quotations from both sides of this string. Now, after that, if you do not want to use the Z image turbo model for this, you can run this with anything that runs a text encoder. So you just feed this in. I mean, I haven't tested this with like video models like Juan, but I would assume that it's the same thing. It just needs to run concurrent. So you will take this connector node and you will feed this string directly in to this green dot on the node. You do not feed it into anything but this. And then to run the workflow, you're going to click this drop down and you're going to see run on change. Now when you hit run on change, nothing will happen. You have to change the seed to activate what you want the change to be. Now every time this workflow will run, the seed will change at the end of the workflow, which now prompts the workflow to keep running the change, meaning it will keep running the different seed and it will flow into every prompt. Now, the reason that I say I would try this with the Z image turbo first is because this model generates so fast. Um, I, I highly recommend trying this for fast iteration. And then if you like the prompt cycler, you can actually run this on flux. And I prefer to do that overnight because I will run, you know, 20, 30 prompts and it will give me, you know, four or five different iterations of each image in the set of 30. So you'll come out with, you know, over a hundred images, just different looks. So the first thing you're going to need to do is head over to my Civit AI page and you can choose from either the Z image plus the prompt cycler or if you don't feel like trying the Z image, you can use it with Flux. I have a separate workflow already incorporating the dev model. After you download the workflow of your choice, you can drag and drop it into Comfy UI. Before you do this, if you do not have Z image turbo already, you are going to need to update your Comfy UI. I posted a video yesterday and I had like probably like 20 to 30 comments literally saying that the workflow was broken when they didn't update their comfy UI to get the clip loader node to recognize the Quen uh, text encoder file. So ensure you are on the latest version of comfy UI boys. After that, you can drag and drop the workflow of your choice into comfy UI and you can begin testing the prompt cycler. You have the ability to change the index. These You can skip lines. You can actually move forward or backward in the text file but again just make sure when you copy the path from the file you remove your quotations that is one of the biggest issues people face with this but I will give you guys a good example of the workflow running just so you can see it I was running it at the beginning I don't know if you guys noticed 
but I will run it one more time just so you can see how quick it runs. So here we go. Now, the first time you run this, it's going to take about a minute to load the models. That's why you see these loading slowly. But after that, it should drop to around 30 seconds or 15 seconds for most images. So we'll just we'll just sit here and wait. So that took about 27 seconds. And we're already encoding our next one. Now, I have not touched anything. So you can see I'm going to keep moving my mouse left to right so you can see that I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting this run by itself. There we go. As you can see, this, this model runs extremely fast. Um, flux will be, you know, however long it takes for your flux images to generate, that's how long it's going to continue to generate, but it will generate on autopilot. Again, super beneficial to leave overnight, super beneficial for if you just want to start a bunch of, you know, quick images for testing. Also, one thing that people do not discuss is this prompt cycler can be used with Quen image edit. So what you can end up doing is you can, you know, put a bunch of different multi-angle shots in your text prompt as opposed to running just regular prompts. You can use, you know, Quinn image edit keywording to get a bunch of different multiple angles on autopilot. I won't be showing you that today because my Quinn image runs really slow, so it's just not worth it to sit here and test that, but it does work. So as you can see, very fast. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to have for you today. Just wanted to give you guys this prompt cycler and let you test this out because I know this is going to help a lot of people with their, you know, passive generating. I know how exhausting it can be to try to keep implementing prompts over and over on repeat. So if you like what you guys saw today, you can subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on the video to let me know how I did. You can also like the video. It genuinely helps the channel so much more than you understand. So go ahead and download this prompt cycler, implement it into your workflow, boys, and start passively generating on your own time. All right, guys, thank you. Have a good day.